Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Any Last Words. As always, I'm your host, Joe. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss another episode. Now, the original story of Pinocchio dates all the way back to 1888 and was not only a book, but a newspaper cartoon called The Adventures of Pinocchio. In the 1940s, Disney took that story and completely whitewashed the entire deal. Now things that do still kind of sort of hold true between the original and the Disney version is that Pinocchio was created by a woodworker named Geppetto and that his nose did grow when he lied. There wasn't a whole lot of it in the original, but Disney definitely liked to emphasize on that. There also was a character called Jiminy Cricket, but he was kind of sort of a little more short-lived, if you will, in the original compared to Disney's version. And I'll get into that in just a second. Now in the Disney version, Geppetto carves a puppet, a boy puppet, and he magically comes to life and wants to be a real boy. And throughout the Disney version, he's guided by a companion, a talking cricket named Jiminy Cricket, who tries to really help him stay out of trouble, but Pinocchio just kind of wants to do his own thing, just do him. And he ends up getting into a little bit of trouble here and there, like being abused in a traveling circus. Um, but Jiminy Cricket ends up kind of rescuing him and they escape from the circus and he comes to find out that Geppetto has actually been eaten by a whale. So they set out to save him. And I'm just kind of jumping, kind of making this real short. But <laughs> after he gets Geppetto back, the blue fairy comes and grants him the ability to become a real boy because she sees that he is really good at heart. The end. Now, the real story isn't as nice as the Disney version, obviously. Um, going back to Jiminy Cricket, Jiminy Cricket was a cricket in the story, but in a fit, Pinocchio jumps up and grabs a hammer from a bench and then hurls it as hard as he can at poor Jiminy Cricket, smashing his head and killing him. Now, Pinocchio didn't feel bad about doing this. He actually said, and I quote from the book, it was his own fault, for I didn't want to kill him. Oh, fucking psycho. But karma later on catches up with him. Pinocchio, being too tired to stand at one point, decides that he wants to sit down and dry his feet on the stove. He falls asleep and burns his feet off. But Geppetto, being the constant enabler that he is of little Pinocchio, he decides to rebuild him a new pair of feet on top of forgives him for killing poor Jiminy Cricket. This is the making of a serial killer. Don't think that Geppetto was immune to any of Pinocchio's bullshit. He got it just as bad as everyone else, if not maybe a little bit worse. Um, I guess when he first came to life, he took Geppetto's wig and like wore it and wanted to make fun of him. When he first learned to walk, he ran away and told all kinds of people that Geppetto was abusing him and caused Geppetto to be arrested and put in prison. What an asshole. Jiminy Cricket does return later on, but in ghost form. So we got kind of like serial killer, enabler who goes to prison, ghosts, Murder, ghosts, serial killer. Gotcha, we're all caught up. Jiminy Cricket comes back in ghost form and continues to try to help Pinocchio try not to do fucking bad shit or get caught up in shenanigans that he does not need to be in. For example, Pinocchio got caught up with some scammers. These scammers told him if you plant gold coins, you can grow a gold tree. So not only is he an evil, mean, murdering little shit, he's also a dumb shit. But Jiminy Cricket continues in ghost form to try to help Pinocchio stay out of trouble and do good things. But Pinocchio just keeps saying, you know, I, I could give a shit. Like, I just want to do me. Just leave me alone. 
kind of deal. So he continues and it just doesn't end up good for him. The scammers actually did end up chasing Pinocchio down, catching him and hanging him from a tree, telling them they would come back the next day when he was dead and his mouth was hanging open to take the gold coins he had hidden under his tongue. Yeah. So not only did they chase him down, hang him and rob him, he had some other stuff that had happened to him throughout his adventures or misadventures, if you will. Not only was he hung and robbed, he was also beaten, he was abducted, he was almost starved to death at one point, which I don't know how the hell you would starve a wooden puppet to death. I could see dehydrating it. Just don't put any water on it, it'll dry out, crack, splinter, kind of deal, you know. And Pinocchio hanging from the tree was actually where the story was supposed to end, but the publishers of the newspaper thought it was a little too grim to end it on that note and they wanted a little bit more of a happier farewell for him. So the writer went back and wrote in the Blue Fairy from, you know, the Disney one. And she saved him from hanging like a Christmas tree ornament. And all of a sudden he decided he wanted to be nice and start taking care of Geppetto. And Jiminy Cricket returns and all of a sudden Pinocchio feels so bad he tells Jiminy Cricket, you know what, I flung a hammer at you, I smashed your head open and killed you, do it to me, I deserve it. And Jiminy Cricket was like way better than that and he was just like, nah, I just want you to remember what you did to me. And that's it. So he had his chance to like go back and smash Pinocchio's head in, but he was just like, nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. Just, I don't want you to forget about it. And basically, that is it. That is all there is to the Pinicchio story. I like saying Pinicchio. So, <laughs> like, a, like a 99 cent story version of Pinocchio is Pinicchio. But yeah, this dude was worse than Dennis the Menace. Like, Pinocchio was a piece of shit. He was a piece of, he was a bag of shit sticks. That's what he was. That's what he was. So, but basically, the moral of the story that the, the creator and the writer was trying to get at is that if you're disobedient and if you're a rotten little piece of shit, child at that, you're gonna end up in bad situations. So you need to behave, be good, don't kill your friends or don't kill people who are trying to help you, don't disrespect your parents kind of shit, blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, yeah, kind of dark, kind of twisted. I kind of like it and I think I'm gonna do some more of these so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really short I hope you guys enjoyed this video <clears throat> yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> don't forget to like share and follow on Instagram Facebook and especially on YouTube uh, I also have a patreon page if you guys would like to be a supporter um, and I have some more exciting news coming up soon. So you guys make sure you tune in for that. And I will see you guys next week. So don't forget to have nightmares about me.